Minister, I'd like to ask the number of persons in counties Carlow and Wexford currently receiving support under the Employment Wage Subsidy Scheme, the number in each county who were receiving support under the scheme on the same date in May 2021, the number of persons in each county that have received support under the scheme and its predecessor since March 2020, the expenditure on the scheme in each county over what time, over that time, and if you will make a statement. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, uh, so this has been an absolutely vital scheme and just to deal with the uh, county, which I think Deputy said was Carlo, that I just want to respond back to. Um, uh, the numbers uh, for Carlo that she's asked for is under the Employment Wage Subsidy Scheme to date. 6,800 uh, employees have, been, have participated in the Employment Wage Subsidy Scheme. Before that, in the temporary wage subsidy scheme, the answer is 8,600. In terms of how much money has been paid out to date in the two programmes, the answer to that question, Deputy, is uh, uh, 82 million euro, 38 million euro on the employment wage subsidy scheme, and uh, 44 million euro on the temporary wage subsidy scheme. Thank you, Minister. And as you said yourself, this is a vital um, scheme and it's something that I believe we need to continue. I believe we would have seen over the COVID like yourself and we would have seen so many sectors affected by COVID um, look to no one's fault. And I know that the government have really played a big part, but it is vital you know, that we make sure that there is funding there for businesses to, to survive. And I would ask you that you make sure that we deliver, and particularly for Carlo, I really want to welcome the, the 6,800 uh, 6, employees that have received this because it has been much needed, Minister. And, you know, I see it myself uh, talking to businesses and talking to people that are working that they, you know, this, this money is needed. And I would ask that we just do our best to make sure that this continues. Thank you. I very much uh, agree with the analysis that you've put forward. Uh, this has been a scheme that's made a massive difference uh, to workers, to employers uh, all over the country. And uh, as the deputy will know, the government has made the decision to extend this scheme uh, up to the end of this year in a completely unchanged way for the next quarter, with a view that maybe in the final quarter to seeing can we make some slight changes with regard to the scheme to begin the process of making it more sustainable and I hope being able to change it over time. Uh, but um, it is a scheme that uh, uh, has played a role in the protection of many, many jobs uh, within the County of Carlow and counties all over the country. And it's for that reason uh, we have in place, uh, the, we've made the decision to extend the scheme uh, to the end of this year. Um, and uh, again, uh, Minister, I just want to thank you for that. And just to say, look, it, I'm so, I was so delighted that it was extended till the end of the year. Um, you know, it is a concern. You can see, you know, there that this uh, Delta uh, variant that we're now speaking of, and, you know, there is concerns. And even though we're absolutely very lucky that our vaccine rollout is so strong, um, and I'm getting my own second vaccine tomorrow, um, and, you know, I want to welcome that, but it is important that at the end of the year, again, as you said, it is re-looked at, and that it is, it has been such a help to the businesses and to the employees themselves that we just have to relook at it again at the end of the year. And again, I just want to thank you. Thanks, Deputy, and uh, congratulations in advance of tomorrow. Uh, it's great to know that across this week, uh, we have so many 100,000 citizens uh, all over our country getting either their first or their second job. Uh, and uh, that's going to continue across the uh, weeks and months of this year. And in any decision the government is going to make regarding supports in the future, uh, we, on one hand, can't keep uh, the support like we have in place here going in an unchanged format forever. Uh, but I've never met any employer that wants to be on this scheme. Any employer who sets up their own company wants to be standing on their own two feet, covering their own bills, covering their own wages, and not be reliant on the state for help to do it. But on the other hand, also any uh, changes with this, this scheme that are too sudden and too quick uh, do run the risk of creating uh, big challenges for employers and their viability. So we're trying to get that balance right. I believe we have to date, 
uh, and uh, we'll uh, continue to monitor closely how the scheme is operating and whether that offers us any guidance regarding the design of the scheme in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Minister.